doing? All right. All right, I couldn't uh, find a stroll, so I got an iPad. I love the stroll thing, though. I saw it the other day. It was awesome. I want to call this one uh, the people of Olmos Park. I know we're on the south side, but we'll talk about that a bit. According to local experts, there is a current demographic shift caused by forces both interior and exterior to South Texas, whereby large numbers of persons of Mexican descent are moving to Olmos Park. Respectfully, I disagree, for it is my contention, and I shall provide evidence to support this assertion, that Mexicans have always been in Olmos Park, because when one stops to think about it, Mexicans live in a constant state of Olmos. No, but we almost had an accident. We almost saw that Spider-Man movie, but it was sold out. We almost won the game if I hadn't hurt my finger. We almost went to the beach on Saturday if only Juanita hadn't gotten the diarrhea. When my sister got her first tattoo, my abuelita almost had a heart attack. When the cop pulled me over, I almost went to jail. Nobody, I almost went won $5,000 in the scratch-off, no mas faltaba that one symbol. The statements above each have an air of innocence. However, continuing to live in Olmos Park has some serious consequences that lead those in our culture away from sufficient success. I almost was going to make that payment, but you know. I almost went to the Marines, but then I decided to no. Freddie almost got away with it, but then they gave him the breathalyzer. Sandra finished, almost finished college, but then, you know. And Junior, he almost got that job, but then they wanted him to work on the weekends. Could you imagine if Cesar almost called his farm worker friends together? Or if Henry B. almost ran for office? Or if any of these poets here before almost put their words down? If Edward James almost auditioned for the role of Jaime Escalante? We live like stereotypes all in one house. And it fits all of us. And it sits uncomfortably on the corner of Gensada Court in If Only Lane. And the white paint is chipped and the porch falls a little toward the left and the foundation is cracked and it's barely holding. 55% of Hispanics in Texas almost finished high school. 49% almost finished college. And 46% of eligible Latinos almost made a difference in the last national election, which means about 12.6 million people almost made their voices heard. Ted Cruz, almost Latino. The difference between dreaming of change and realizing it is an attitude that makes that acts to make that change, and we don't change our cultural attitude, will always be almost successful. So instead of wanting to move out and into almost park, well, maybe it's time that we get out. I got one more, uh, but this one I actually know by heart. Uh, I know it's time of celebration, but I, this poem is also about loss, but it's also in perspective. And I call it Mi Cabello. <laughs> I knew you all my life. And then one day I looked up and you were gone without saying a word. And I was left with that one question that all men ask themselves when they suffer the loss. Why God, why? Was it my fault? Were you upset about him? He just kept, he said that you were wild and untamed, but I defended you if all I wanted to do was just hold you back. Was it the 90s when I introduced you to chemicals that changed you and molded you and formed you and made you into and something that you were not meant to be? Was it jealousy? Mom was the one that introduced us to Becky. She was the only one that ever touched you for those awkward years. She was the first one to tell me that maybe you were just a little fake. But then we came to San Antonio and I sat you in front of anybody that could handle you for 595 or less and I'm sorry if I made you feel so cheap. Was it anything else along those lines? Or do I have to come to terms with the fact that maybe it's just it's not you, it's me? We did have some good times together, however. Remember when we were in Mexico and I let you go? And we were drove in the back of a pickup truck through Oaxaca and jungle, and you were wild and untamed, and never did you have such body, sleek, curvy, little oily, so full of body. Dare I say a little sexy? Ah, uh, but all those are just memories, and that's memories are all I have of you. My friends still ask about you. They kind of make fun of the fact that you're not there anymore. And I try to play it off like maybe, you know, it's like no big thing. But deep down, I miss you. 
winter is called an action. Aww.